All right, what's up, everybody? So today I'll be showing you how to stake in MM Finance. So first things first, you're gonna need Crow on Kronos Chain. So there's a few ways of doing this. You can send it from another DeFi wallet exchange um, that maybe you have Crow on. Uh, one way to possibly save on some fees, and the easiest way, in my opinion, is you can actually bridge it directly from your um, Crypto.com app. So you can go to Crow. You can then go to transfer, withdraw, and you can send it right to your crypto.com DeFi app once you have established uh, that integration. So I believe you need to do that from the DeFi app and it will then be synced. So by doing that, you can click Crow. You want to make sure you choose Kronos and not crypto.org. And then I've already done this, but once you um, you know decide the amount that you want, you can easily withdraw this. All right, once it's been withdrawn to the to the wallet then as you can see here you'll be able to access your chronos from the decentralized world um, next step you can step into d apps you want to go to mm finance so first things first we got to decide what liquidity pool or just staking pool we want to be a part of um, to do that you can click on vault and reason you need to do this is because you want to know what tokens to swap or that you need to swap or to stake so once we go to the vault so this is where it actually you get the best returns um, by placing your stake in the vault so here as you can see the different pools available you have just mmo mmf blah 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 what i'm currently doing is the mmf svn as you can see the higher the percentage the higher risk um, of that so based on your risk tolerance choose wisely um, obviously if you just need so as you can see some are liquidity pools that need two pairs um, of tokens or one pair of tokens and then the other one is uh, just a singular token for the higher ones as you can see are the liquidity pools and that's what I'm currently doing so decided on that next you want to step into MM finance now that we know what we'll be sw swapping for so you want to go over to trade exchange you'll start with your crow and then let's let's uh do crow to mmf to start wait for that to load so when you're doing the liquidity pairings you want to make sure you have the same amount um, of both tokens so i usually start with 50 percent, and then the key here though is you want to make sure that you have enough for transaction fees so i typically start with 50 percent, and then i take out a few so let's just say one 50 to be safe um, so that make sure we have enough so we go 150 go ahead and swap for MMF accept the price update confirm wait for that green check mark And looks like that went through fantastic all right next step we want to get some SVN all right you can keep it at 150 keep it the same hopefully uh, it's probably not gonna be exactly the same um, but what you you'll, this is as close as you'll be able to get to having about 50 50 of the same share and we'll wait for this to complete. All right, looks like that went through. All right, next step is is now creating this liquidity pair. So it's by doing that, you want to go into liquidity. So same trade section. And now you want to um, choose MMF as the one pair and then SVN as the second. So obviously these are different pairs that you chose. As you saw, I think MMF M share is actually now the largest percentage. At one point, this one was the largest. So there's obviously a bit more volatility going on with M share. So once you've chosen um, the liquidity pair, let's see. Oops, sorry, we want, you want to click not find other LP tokens, you want to click add liquidity. Um, and then um, F, SVN. So it doesn't matter, just click 
max which one and it just basically will will do the even amount of the other one so obviously there's always going to be a little bit left over i typically um, max out svn because i think mmf is a bit more stable and i'd rather keep that um, whatever little bit is left over all right go ahead and click supply confirm supply of that liquidity and then click confirm again and what we're doing here we are now adding to the pool or creating actually more so creating that liquidity pair and go ahead and click close there all right now that we have the pair it's time to head over to the vault i want to go ahead and connect your wallet to mmo so this uh, it's a mad meerkat optimizer essentially uh it, it, it heightens the percentages that you can get from staking in MMO. All right, so as you can see, I've connected my wallet. It's already showing the pool that I am currently in. And go ahead and click that. Um, key here is that, as you can see at the top, um, it actually does not reward you to be claiming often and actually even claiming at all. So um, I try to keep it in as long as i can until it needs some or another tip is if you need to pull out from it rather you can pull out from what is staked and that won't affect your compounding since you haven't claimed anything yet so i'm going to go ahead and use the max of the liquidity that i've just created as you can see there at the bottom next to my balance i want to go to and then click stake and essentially that takes that liquidity pairing that you just created stakes it gotta love the transaction fees on row network and and just like that can i get a drum roll please and this is actually my, this was actually the first liquidity pairing that i created i, I was always staying away from i never did an eth it was a little scary and also as you can imagine the gas fees so um mmf has been very kind to me to say the least and uh yeah just like that you can begin staking you can see it's added it to my staked and you now have a liquidity pairing to work with. Thanks.